I just bought this little airplane without wings and I put different wings on it and I got it up in the air and I've been flying for about two hours now and I have a little problem. Uh, as I'm flying, I find that if I let go of the controls, it slowly rolls just a little bit to the left. And over time, it will just take a little bit of a turn to the left. It's not anything terrible, but uh, it is something that I can adjust. And since I intend to fly quite a few hours in this airplane before we're done, I think I want to go ahead and do that. Okay, let's imagine the scenario for a minute. If you can see my hands as trying to be wings here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little angle of attack on my right wing and a little less angle of attack on my left wing. So my right wing is making more lift than my left wing is, which is producing that roll to the left. And I have two options here. I can reduce the angle of attack on the right wing um, by taking the back and sliding it upwards a little bit, or I could increase the angle of attack on the left wing. And in extreme cases, I'd have to do both. But this isn't an extreme case. It's just going to require one little minor change. Now luckily when they built the Cessna 100 series strutted models they made a provision for one wing being just a little bit heavy or just a little bit light and that is a system of cams that are found at the rear attach point to the wings. Let me show you close up. On the rear spar of the Cessna wing we find that we have, this is the airframe right across here, this is a representation of what's going on in the airframe and inside we have a hole on this wing that is the right size for the bolt. Now in the airframe we have this off-center stub bolt, we we'll call it a cam, and that cam can be adjusted upwards and downwards. So if I adjust that cam, that would put the rear of the wing down or this would put the rear of the wing up. It's not enough to make very much of a difference but on a slight situation where I've got a just a small amount of discrepancy of lift, that is going to make a huge difference when it comes time uh, to fly. So mine's a pretty small adjustment, and I am going to want to cam my left wing down about one wrench flat. Okay, so it was about there. Actually, that's about a, about a half of a wrench flat. I'm going to want to cam it down to about that position. And that's just going to give me just a tiny bit lower uh, location when it comes time to making that wing move. And uh, hopefully that will correct for the entire asymmetrical balance. Okay, so here's that back side where the spar joins in. It comes right across here. I've already taken the forward fairing off and I'm going to have to remove the rearward fairing. And once that rearward fairing is removed, I should have access to the point where that cam determines the angle of incidence of the wing. And what I'm going to need to do on this, of course, is loosen the bolt that goes through the center of the cam and then change the angle on both sides of the cam and uh, then tighten everything back up again. All right. So here we are. And if you look right here, you can see the bolt and you can see the cam back at the back of the bolt. And this is up inside the plane where we just took that fairing off. And I have this cam sitting here so you can kind of see where everything is. And it sure appears that our cam is setting about like that inside of here. So it is just a little bit, if you look, it's just a little bit off kilter. And right now it's been twisted this way just a little bit. Because it's been twisted this way just a little bit, the back of this spar is set just a little higher than it ought to be. And that explains my loss of lift on this wing, because if the back is higher, it's got a little less in the angle of incidence. I'm going to have to loosen up that nut, and then I'm going to have to get a wrench on that and turn it. Um, and I'll probably turn it, like we said, about a sixth of a turn. I'm going to make it probably cam down about as much as it's cammed up right now. Just a tiny little bit and then we'll have to go out and test fly. Of course, it's a lot more difficult to actually do this than it sounds like just talking about it. All right, so we're gonna slide into there and we're gonna begin by loosening up that bolt, that nut, and I'm gonna loosen it just a fudge and then I should be able to slip a wrench onto the back side. All right, wrench is lodged on the back side. And now, 
I can loosen up my cam. Alright, or loosen up my bolt. There we go. I have absolutely no intention of actually loosening or taking this bolt off. All I had to do is take the pressure off and now I should be able to reach up into there and turn it with a, uh, hopefully with a socket. And we want to cam that down. So we'll line the socket up. I got some motion down, but I, I'm definitely feeling the other side get all locked up. So I'm going to have to go in there with a wrench. And you can see the outline of the old position where that is. And then I've spun it around about a uh, half of a flat. And that has changed the position of the cam, pushed it lower, which means this piece now is just a little lower than it used to be against this wing. It's not even enough that you'd ever be able to tell without some super sophisticated measuring tools, but it should make a difference because of the whole huge surface of the wing that just changed its angle. And so the next thing to do is to tighten this back up. Of course, we're gonna use a torque wrench because I don't like to die um, this week. And that is our wing readjusted. All right, so now we can go for a test flight. Um, that's not Cessna 150 power, that's 5x speed. And here we are up around 3,000 feet. Take the hands off. Sorry about the hazy day, you really can't see much of the um, horizon line out there. But the fact is, when I take my hands off, I am getting a very, very slight right wing heavy tendency now. But I've got a fuller tank on the right wing than I have on the left wing, so I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not going to adjust it again. Uh, we're just going to leave it just the way that it is. Um, you can see we're staying hands off for quite a long time here. And considering the right wing tank is just a little fuller than the left wing tank, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty content with that one. All right, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, have fun.